This is an example of just how um, parts with synchronous and ordered features kind of hang together and how you might want to use it. I want to focus in on this assembly on this bracket here. Um, and I'm just going to go in and edit the part just by picking it up here and going edit in place. And let's just take a look at how this was put together. So we see that we've got in our feature tree here, we've got some synchronous and ordered features. Right now I'm in the ordered um, environment, which means that I can see everything. Ordered always comes after synchronous. If we just jump back to synchronous, we can see that you know kind of the, the general shape of the part with maybe some key features that service control features were put in there. And then over in ordered, they added uh, you know things like like rounds and break corners and and maybe smaller features that are just along for the ride. You know an example would be um, this cutout right here, which really is tied always to this protrusion. So it's uh, it's really just along for the ride. So they've put it together that way, and what that means is that we can kind of click and drag and change the general shape of the part using synchronous and we've got these other features that go on for a ride so for example if I grab that edge which is a synchronous edge you see that I can kind of push and pull it it'll also bring up any kind of synchronous um, dimensions that were tied to that and I can kind of move that back and forth what you can also do if I just cancel that move with that edge selected, uh, and remember, in ordered, you often have to use Quick Pick to be able to differentiate between uh, a synchronous edge and a, a feature that was created in ordered. But with that edge selected, what I can do is I can move my steering wheel by clicking on the center of it and drop it onto one of these holes, and that hole becomes my control point. Now, just to show you, these hole that hole is actually an ordered feature. It was created because, you know, logically it's always going to stay centered on this tab and it had some very specific dimensions to line up those holes. So it made sense that it was created and ordered. But that said, we can still take advantage of that feature and use it as a handle point for a synchronous edit. So what it means is it means that if I wanted to adjust the size of this tab here such that these holes lined up uh, with another feature, I just have to move my cursor or my steering wheel over the center of that hole, start my move and then pick up on whatever feature I wanted to snap to. You know, maybe it's the center of this hole, for example. So you kind of have the same, if, if you build sort of the general shape in synchronous, uh, you can still use ordered features as control points to make those moves. And if we jump back kind of into the assembly, we can see that switching over to face priority and grabbing that same face there, I can do the same thing uh, in the assembly and this gives me the added benefit of lining up these ordered holes with you know other features in the assembly so maybe for whatever reason I gotta extend this bracket way out and line it up with the center point of this arm here I mean that's that's something you can do so even using ordered features we got a lot of flexibility uh, if we have some synchronous a synchronous backbone to our part